Ryland Clark has explained how the Eurovision Song Contest previously helped him get over his divorce. The 34-year-old was forced to pull out of covering the competition on behalf of the BBC back in 2021 as he was so devastated by his split from Dan Neal. Ryland suffered a mental health breakdown after the marital breakup from his ex-husband, who he was with for five years, and took five months away from the spotlight. He said flying out to Italy for last year's Eurovision was just what he needed to help mend his mental health issues. Speaking to the Daily Star Sunday, he said, last year I needed to get away from the UK and the Eurovision bubble was perfect for that. It was what I needed on a personal level. Being there was a full circle moment for me. It was like, I'm back, I'm ready to go. That's why Eurovision is so important to me. If you cut me open, it's there. Being in Italy gave him a chance to move on from his divorce by having some flirty fun with the locals. And as he was away from home, he didn't have to worry about getting recognized when he was letting loose. But this year he's planning to behave himself, because Eurovision is being staged in the UK. Ryland said, I can't go slagging it about, I've got to be on my best behavior. I'll be pining for the nights out I usually have. But I'll still go out. Ryland reckons Eurovision is a lifeline for lots of fans. He said, it gives people escapism. It's one week of the year where we can all be part of this family. When you're there, it doesn't matter what country you're from. If you're gay or straight, if you're black or white, none of that matters. Everyone is just together. He also admitted he was thrilled Liverpool was hosting this year's contest, despite the fact that he'll have to make one big change to his Eurovision experience. He said, when we're in Turin or Tel Aviv and stuff like that, no one knows who we are, we can get away with murder. This year I've got to be good. That's the only downside. I love Liverpool. I love the city. The presenter, who was hosting BBC Radio 2's coverage of the Eurovision Song Contest final with Scott Mills, explained why Liverpool is a city close to his heart. We are so excited and without sounding ridiculously stupid, we feel so welcome here in Liverpool, he continued. My X Factor boot camp was in that arena and then I went on tour in that arena, so I've got quite a lot of special personal memories, and the only downside is that we can't get away with what we normally do. Rylan recalled his first Eurovision in Lisbon in 2018 as he added, when you have your first Eurovision, mine was Lisbon, being a fan and actually being able to go to Eurovision and that feeling the second you land at that airport, wherever it is, the whole city is taken over by Eurovision, and for that one week you are all in that bubble. There is nothing like it. For that one week you just forget your troubles and it's all about the contest, and everyone is having a lovely time. It doesn't matter who you are. The presenter, who recently stepped down as Strictly Come Dancing spin-off It Takes Two host, urged on fans to come to Liverpool even if they don't have a ticket. There is so much on. This year, more than ever, you don't need a ticket. You can be in the street and it's still happening. You're going to love it and I'm jealous of you all, he said. Follow Mirror TV on Twitter and Facebook.